The Emota app has a new look and this is what it looks like. We have aimed for a clean and easy to use interface for a rapidly growing user base. At the top, you can see your user information. By clicking the profile picture, you can also edit your account details such as your email and your password. You can switch between app configurations with ease by clicking the configuration link here. In the middle, you can view your sync statuses for data, images, and cache. Data and images mean things that you have collected in the field and are trying to send to the Emota server. Cache means data you are trying to download from Emota servers so as to store on your device such as sites, survey designs, issues, and so on. You can click into these sync buttons to get more information about the sync. And if there's any issue with any of these things, you can get information on how to troubleshoot to take the basic steps to fix the issue. If you're still stuck, you can always report a problem and Emota staff will get right back to you. At the bottom, you can see sites and surveys as styles, giving us easy access to parts of the app. Later on, there will be other tiles such as asset management, accounting, meter leading, and so on. You can access the other tabs from the bottom, including surveys, assignments, and issues. You can add new sites, surveys, or issues from the plus icon in the middle. From the map tab, you can look at sites that are already around you or create new ones. And from the final setting tab, you can switch your language, report a problem, or do a number of more advanced things. I hope you enjoyed this new layout. Let us know what you think and have a good day.